Hello, and welcome to HMP, Ego Full of Power for Living. For many years now, you've heard me stuck talk about the virtues of the EcoFlow 720 river unit. Now, it's versatile for so many things, even powering refrigerators and sump pumps in the, when the power is out. But unfortunately, this unit here, let me zoom in on it. This trusty little unit right here is not discontinued, but it has so many good features on it, as you, as you probably know. It has all the ports you need, the AC ports, the, the input ports for, for solar and for electrical, or the, oh, from the wall, and of course, all your USB ports. It can handle anything you don't want to throw at it, pretty much. So time has moved on. And what do we have now? We have bigger, more powerful units, like this one. This is the EcoFlow Delta II Max. Now this is not going to be a comparison video or a features video of the 720, or the, of the Max unit versus the 720. But rather a discussion of what you really need for a home backup system. So it all depends on what you want to do with it. What do you want to power? How many appliances at one time? And whether you want it to power your whole house or not. Of course, if you're going to use it for extended periods of time, I recommend getting the, the extra battery like this one for the 720 Pro. You can still get them. Cost around $250 for the extra battery. So I was contemplating, what do we really need for home backup? Now the, the reliable 720 Pro is light, portable, you can move it around, which is very good. It still works wonderful even after two, three years, but we need more to back up the whole house. Thus enter the EcoFlow Delta II Max, which is rated at 2400 watts of power. For example, I tried the big brother to this unit, the uh, EcoFlow Pro. Delta Pro, a hundred pounds to move that thing. It was so heavy. This is about 50 pounds. I can move this easily. And the uh, 720 Pro River is like 16 and a half pounds. So you can move that easily. So you got to factor in movement to where you want to use it. Then what do you need? Well, you have to charge them up. So if you want it to be fully uh, independent, you have to have the right solar panels from the, for the grid so you don't have to use the grid as much. So this, they take different levels of solar. For example, the Delta Max here uh, takes a thousand watts of solar. Whereas the 720 Pro River can only takes 200 watts. So there's a wide variety of wattage that these uh, units will receive from solar panels. So you gotta decide on that. Plus you gotta decide on the wiring you're gonna use. What gauge wiring do you need to hook your, your unit up to your house. Do you need a generator kit for your for your uh, electric panel? You probably do. So you got to get the adapter to plug the different power units into that generator kit or that socket rather. And with all the terrible disasters, people out of electric power for weeks, especially in Texas and other places, you really need a backup generator system that's that's worth it. That'll that'll help you. And these solar solar generators will do the job if you get the right size one. And I, I personally like the Delta II Max. Easy to move it. It's it's just the right amount of power. It won't run 240 volt. If you're wondering about the other prices on the other Delta units, I did a previous video on, on the site that showed all the different prices currently through July 15th of this year. So that might be of help to you. To decide but whatever you decide get the one that fits your needs get the one that will help you to run the most things for your house keep your family safe in a, in a power outage that's how you turn a home generator system hope it was helpful see you next time on hmp ecoflow power for living oh yes and you hear it all the time please like and subscribe it really helps our channel and we're trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark so please help us out Thanks. Public service announcement. Save the boxes in case you have to return anything. Just saying.